Playing with Power MTG. Powerful cards, powerful formats. Before we get into tonight's game, I wanted to ask a question. Do you have extra cards lying around that you don't use? Want to buy or trade for some extra cards but don't know how to maximize the value? Then you should try out today's sponsor, Card Conduit. Card Conduit is the best service when it comes to selling your extra cards. Don't waste hours trying to find the best buy list price for your cards online. Simply send them to Card Conduit and let them take care of the rest. I have used Card Conduit multiple times already. I always use them to get the best value for my extra cards. I get fair prices for my cards and they save me tons of time. They have three main services. Their standard service lets you send them your unsorted cards of any value. They will sort, grade, and give you the best price for your cards. Their curated service is similar. Send them your unsorted cards worth over a dollar in value. They will charge half the fee of the standard service and charge no fee per card. Their sorted service is a great value as well. Choose cards in advance with their selection tool, send them sorted to Card Conduit, and they will grade and buy list them automatically. Save yourself the time of having to send to multiple sites and let Card Conduit do it instead. Their fee is only 2% with no fee per card. They give you the best price for your cards. They work with competitive buy listing partners, including ones not open to the public. Users get an average of 19% more for their collection than they would from any major retail buy list, even with Card Conduit's fees. Card Conduit also optimizes buy listing for card condition as well. Since vendors have different penalties for wear and tear, Card Conduit will find the best buy list priced against the specific condition of the card. So give Card Conduit a try today. If you sign up with my link in the description below or use the promo code POWER, you will also get 10% off of their fees when you use their service. A big thanks to Card Conduit for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have our Mox Pro Patron Sean, Paladin Cormella, Glamour Thief. This is a Grixis mid-range deck using its commander for additional value while winning with traditional Grixis lines. Sean's opening hand contains a Cyclonic Rift, an offer you can't refuse, Volcanic Island, Soul Ring, Mana Crypt, Mana Confluence, and an Ancient Tomb. Next, we have our Mox Pearl Patron Alex, piloting Karlov of the Ghost Council. This is a Hard Prison Stacks deck that wins with either Exquisite Blood plus Sanguine Bond or Walking Ballista and Heliod. Alex's opening hand contains a Plains, Aether Vial, Smothering Tithe, Weathered Runestone, Veto, Thorn of the Dusk Rose, Enlightened Tutor, and Averdant Catacombs. After that, we have Ryan, piloting Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer. This deck seeks to fetch up and kill Arena Rector as fast as possible to fetch up Vivian on the hunt and kill the table with Kiki Lines. Ryan's opening hand contains an Arbor Elf, Avacyn's Pilgrim, Carpet of Flowers, Flooded Strand, Grim Monolith, Eternal Witness, and a Mana Crypt. Finally, we have Zack, Pounding Elsha of the Infinite. This is a Storm deck that tries to assemble Sensei's top plus a Cost Reducer to draw its deck and win the game. Zack's opening hand contains a Cyclonic Rift, Jessica's Will, Grim Monolith, Mana Crypt, Steam Vents, Gemstone Caverns, and a Reshape. Without further ado, let's kick off this beautiful, benevolent, brilliant, blatant bamboozle. Sean won the Mobility Challenge and gets to start us off. But Zack has a pregame action, putting Gemstone Caverns onto the battlefield, exiling Grim Monolith, which has everyone worried what in the world is in his hand to have that be his worst card. Sean draws a card per turn and plays a Mana Confluence. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Soul Ring. Sean passes. Alex draws, plays a Verdant Catacombs, and passes. Ryan draws and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Grim Monolith. He casts an Avacyn's Pilgrim. Ryan ends his turn. Zack draws and plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying two life. He casts a Mana Crypt and passes to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and plays a Volcanic Island. He casts Mox Amber. Sean passes. At the end of Sean's turn, Alex cracks his Verdant Catacombs, pays a life, and fetches up a Scrubland onto the battlefield. He casts Enlightened Tutor. In response, Zack casts Dispel, countering Tutor. The turn moves to Alex. Alex draws and plays a Plains. He casts Weathered Runestone. All of his opponents sigh collectively, and Alex sends the turn to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. He draws and casts Carpet of Flowers. He moves to a second main phase and adds one green through his carpet. He casts an Arbor Elf. Ryan passes. During his upkeep, Zack loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and casts Sensei's Divining Top. He activates top, looking at and rearranging the top three. Zack ships the turn to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He casts Jeweled Lotus. He cracks it and taps his Mana Confluence to help cast his commander, Cormella Glamour Thief. Sean gives the turn to Alex. Alex draws and plays a Swamp. He casts his commander, Karlov of the Ghost Council. He casts an Aether Vial and passes to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. He draws, and in his first main phase, he has one green through his carpet. He casts a Tender Wall. He casts a Talisman of Unity. Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Zack spends his top. 
During his upkeep, Zack loses his mana crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws and plays a fiery islet. He taps it to help cast his commander, Alsha of the Infinite. Zack passes. At the end of Zack's turn, Sean taps his commander and his ancient tomb to help cast an overloaded cyclonic rift. In response, Zack activates his top, drawing a card and putting top on top. Still in response, Ryan channels Beseju, who endures, targeting weathered runestone. Runestone is destroyed, and Alex fetches up a godless shrine into play tapped. Then Rift bounces all of Sean's opponent's non-land permanents. The turn moves to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean wins his mana crypt roll. He draws and plays a misty rainforest. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up an underground sea onto the battlefield. Sean gives the turn to Alex. Alex draws and plays a plains. He casts a mana vault. He casts Smothering Tithe. In response, Sean casts Swan Song. Smothering Tithe is countered, and Alex creates a 2-2 bird. Next, he recasts his commander, Karlov of the Ghost Council. He recasts Aether Vile and gives the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and casts Carpet of Flowers. He moves to a second main phase and adds two green through his carpet. He casts a Mana Crypt. He casts a Grim Monolith. He casts Avacyn's Pilgrim. He casts Arbor Elf. Ryan passes. Zack draws and casts a Mana Crypt. He taps his Fiery Islet to help recast his commander, Elsha of the Infinite. Zack passes. During his upkeep, Sean loses his Mana Crypt roll and takes three damage. He draws, takes no actions, and passes. During his upkeep, Alex pays to untap his Mana Ball. Also in his upkeep, he puts a counter onto Aether Vial. He draws and plays a Swamp. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with his bird. Sean takes it, and Alex passes to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts his commander, Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer, where X equals 4. It enters, and Ryan fetches up an Arena Rector onto the battlefield. He exiles Simeon Spirit Guide from his hand, adding a red. He casts Shatter Skull Smashing, where X equals 2, targeting Rector. In response, Sean casts an offer you can't refuse. Shatter Skull is countered, and Ryan creates two treasures. When attempt foiled, Ryan passes to Zack. During his upkeep, Zack wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Jessica's Will with both modes targeting Ryan. Elsha's prowess triggers and gets plus one plus one. Then Zack adds three red and exiles Command Tower, Thought Lash, and Grinding Station. He plays a Command Tower from Exile. He taps his Fiery Eye lit to cast Thought Lash from Exile, and Elsha gets plus one plus one. This is game over for the table, so in response, Sean activates Cormella, adding three mana. He casts Burn Offering, sacrificing Cormella as an additional cost. Cormella triggers, and Sean returns Swan Song to his hand. Then Sean adds four black. Sean casts Swan Song, targeting Thought Lash. Thought Lash is countered, and Zack creates a 2 2 bird. Next, Zack casts Grinding Station from Exile, and Elsha gets plus one plus one. He moves to combat and attacks Alex with Elsha. Alex blocks with Karlov, Karlov dies, and Zack passes to Sean. During his upkeep, Sean wins his Mana Crypt roll. He draws and casts Mana Vault. He taps his Mana Confluence to help recast his commander, Carmella. Sean ends his turn. During his upkeep, Alex puts a counter onto Aether Vile. He draws and casts Deafening Silence. He plays a Cavern of Souls, naming Human as it enters. He recasts his commander, Karlov. He moves to combat and attacks Sean with his bird. Sean takes it, and Alex passes to Ryan. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. He draws, and in his first main phase, he gets two red through his carpet. He casts Eternal Witness. In response, Zack activates Grinding Station, sacrificing Mana Crypt, milling three to find an answer on top of his library through Elsha. He does not find it, and Eternal Witness resolves. Witness enters, and Ryan returns Shatter Skull Smashing to his hand. He casts Shatter Skull Smashing, where X equals 2, targeting his Arena Rector. Rector dies, Ryan exiles it, and fetches up a Vivian on the hunt onto the battlefield. Ryan activates Vivian's first ability, sacrificing Rocco, fetching up a Felidar Guardian onto the battlefield. Felidar enters, and Ryan flickers Vivian on the hunt. Ryan activates Vivian's first ability, since it's a new instance of Vivian, sacrificing Felidar Guardian, and fetching up a Karmic Guide onto the battlefield. Karmic Guide enters and returns Felidar Guardian to the battlefield. Felidar enters and flickers Vivian on the hunt. Ryan activates Vivian, sacrificing Felidar Guardian again, fetching up Kiki Jiki, Mirror Breaker, onto the battlefield. Ryan activates Kiki Jiki, creating a copy of Karmic Guide. Karmic Guide enters and returns Felidar Guardian to the battlefield. Felidar enters and flickers Kiki Jiki. Ryan presents a loop of activating Kiki Jiki, creating a copy of Felidar Guardian, and flickering Kiki Jiki each time. He does this over and over, creating infinite hasty Felidars. He moves to combat, attacks with his army, and Ryan wins the game. The team had a lot of fun, so they decided to go again. In this game, Sean brings back Cormella, Glamour Thief, and his opening hand contains an Underworld Breach, Force of Negation, Bergy God of Storytelling, Mox Diamond, Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, Narset's Reversal, and Esteem Bets. Next, we have Alex piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Thrasios Triton Hero. This is a mid-range list seeking to generate infinite mana, sink it into Thrasios, and win with Oracle, Labman, or Finale of Devastation. Alex's opening hand contains a Bayou, Neoform, Swan Song, Ristic Study, Birds of Paradise, Force of Negation, and a Chrome Mox. Ryan brings back Rocco, Cabaretti Caterer, and his opening hand contains an Enlightened Tutor, Bloodstained Mire, 
Birds of Paradise, Gaia's Cradle, Sylvan Library, Worldly Tutor, and his London Mulligan is a Cavern of Souls. Zack brings back Elsha of the Infinite, and his opening hand contains a Talisman of Creativity, Bloodstained Mire, Plateau, Arid Mesa, Jataxian Probe, Spell Pierce, and his London Mulligan is a Windfall. And Alex gets to start us off. Alex draws and plays a Bayou. He casts Chrome Mox, imprinting Neoform. He casts a Birds of Paradise and passes the turn. Ryan draws and plays a Bloodstained Mire. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Taiga onto the battlefield. He also casts a Birds of Paradise and passes the turn. Zack draws and starts off his turn by paying two life to cast Jataxian Probe, targeting Sean. He looks at Sean's hand and draws a card. He plays an Arid Mesa for turn. He casts Lion's Eye Diamond. Zack ends his turn. Sean draws and plays a Steam Vents into play untapped, paying two life. He casts Ragaman, Nimble Pilferer. Sean ships the turn. Alex draws and plays a Verdant Catacombs. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Savannah onto the battlefield. He casts Heuristic Study. In response, Sean casts Force of Negation, exiling a blue card, targeting Study. In response, Alex casts Swan Song, targeting Force. In response, Zack cracks his Arid Mesa, pays a life, and fetches up a Volcanic Island onto the battlefield. He casts Spell Pierce, targeting Swan Song. Swan Song is countered, and Heuristic Study is countered and exiled. With nothing else, Alex passes. During his upkeep, Ryan casts Enlightened Tutor. He fetches up a Mana Crypt onto the top of his library. He draws and casts Mana Crypt. He casts Sylvan Library. He plays a Gaia's Cradle for turn. He casts Finehorn Elves. Ryan ends his turn. Zack draws and plays a Plateau. He casts Talisman of Creativity. Zack gives the turn to Sean. Sean draws and moves to combat. He attacks Alex with Ragavan. Alex takes it, Ragavan triggers, Alex exiles a Gaia's Cradle, and Sean creates a treasure. In his second main phase, he casts Mox Diamond, discarding Urbor, Tomb of Yawgmoth. He casts Bergy, God of Storytelling. Sean ships the turn to Alex. Alex draws and casts Demonic Tutor, fetching up a card into his hand. He casts Draneth Magistrate. Ryan sinks his head, and Alex passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. During his draw step, he draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying eight life to keep them both. He plays a Plateau and passes the turn. Zack draws, plays a Flooded Strand, and passes. Sean draws and moves to combat. He attacks Zack with Ragavan. Zack takes it, Ragavan triggers, Zack exiles Ledger Shredder, and Sean creates a treasure. In his second main phase, Sean casts Ledger Shredder, but not from exile, but from his hand. Bergy triggers and adds a red. He casts Phantasmal Image. Shredder triggers and Sean connives Underworld Breach, giving Shredder a plus one plus one counter. Phantasmal Image resolves and enters as a copy of Duraneth Magistrate. Ryan goes to scream into a pillow as Sean passes to Alex. Alex draws and plays a Polluted Delta. He casts Esper Sentinel. In response, Ryan casts Worldly Tutor. In response, Zack casts an offer you can't refuse. Worldly Tutor is countered and Ryan creates two treasures. Then Esper resolves and Alex passes the turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. During his draw step, he draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four life to keep one extra. He plays a Yavamaya Cradle of Growth as his land for turn. He casts Eldritch Evolution, sacrificing Finehorn Elves as an additional cost, paying the Esper tax. In response, Alex hard casts Force of Negation, countering and exiling Eldritch. Next, Ryan casts Birthing Pod. Shredder triggers, and Sean connives Fierce Guardianship, giving Shredder a counter. Ryan pays two life to activate Birthing Pod, sacrificing Birds of Paradise, and fetches up a Dockside Extortionist onto the battlefield. It enters, and Ryan creates five treasures. With nothing else, Ryan passes. Zack draws, plays a Bloodstained Mire, and passes. Sean draws and moves to combat. He attacks Zack with Ragavan and Ryan with Ledger Shredder. They both take it, Ragavan triggers, Zack exiles Winds of Rebuke, and Sean creates a treasure. In his second main phase, Sean casts Mystic Remora. Sean ships the turn to Alex. Alex draws and plays a Marsh Flats. He casts Swift Reconfiguration, targeting Ryan's Dockside. Remora triggers, and Alex pays for it. Swift resolves, and Alex ends his turn. During his upkeep, Ryan wins his Mana Crypt flip. During his draw step, he draws two extra through Sylvan Library, paying four life to keep one extra. In his main phase, he casts Orcish Lumberjack. He casts Wirewood Symbiote. Shredder triggers, and Sean connives Mana Confluence. Ryan pays two life to activate Birthing Pod, sacrificing Wirewood Symbiote, and fetches up a Grand Abolisher onto the battlefield. Ryan passes. At the end of Ryan's turn, Zack cracks his Bloodstained Mire, pays a life, and fetches up a Steam Vents onto the battlefield tapped. He also cracks his Flooded Strand, pays a life, and fetches up a Hallowed Fountain onto the battlefield tapped. The turn moves to Zack. Zack draws and plays a Forbidden Orchard. He transmutes Muddle the Mixture, fetching up a Dockside Extortionist into his hand. He casts Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and Zack creates 17 treasures. With tons of mana and two Draneths on the battlefield, Zack passes. During his upkeep, Sean pays to keep his Remora. He draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Ledger Shredder, Ragavan, and Bergy. Ryan blocks Bergy with Orcish Lumberjack and takes the rest. Ragavan triggers, Ryan exiles Infernal Plunge, and Sean creates a treasure. Finished up, Sean passes. Alex draws, takes no actions, and passes. During his upkeep, Ryan loses his Mana Crypt flip and takes three damage. 
During his draw step, he draws two extra through Sylvan Library, putting two back on top. In his main phase, he casts Treasonous Ogre. He activates Birthing Pond, sacrificing Ogre, fetching up a Fury onto the battlefield. Fury enters, and Ryan has it deals three damage to Alex's Dranith and one damage to Sean's Dranith. Sean's Phantasmal Image Dranith triggers, and he sacrifices it. Then the other Dranith dies. Next, Ryan casts his Commander, Rocco, Cabaretti, Caterer, where X equals four. He fetches up an Arena Rector onto the battlefield. He casts Mind Collapse for its alternate cost, sacrificing a mountain targeting Rector. Esper, Remora, and Shredder all trigger. Sean connives Swan Song, draws from Remora, then Alex draws from Esper. Then Mind Collapse deals five to Arena Rector. Rector dies, Ryan exiles it, and fetches up a Vivian on the hunt onto the battlefield. Ryan activates Vivian's first ability, sacrificing Rocco, fetching up a Felidar Guardian onto the battlefield. Felidar enters and flickers Vivian. Ryan activates Vivian, sacrificing Felidar, fetching up a Karmic Guide onto the battlefield. Karmic Guide enters and returns Felidar Guardian to the battlefield. Felidar enters and flickers Vivian again. Ryan activates Vivian, sacrificing Felidar, fetching up Kiki Jiki onto the battlefield. Ryan activates Kiki, creating a copy of Karmic Guide. Karmic Guide enters and returns Felidar Guardian to the battlefield. Felidar enters and flickers Kiki. Ryan presents a loop of creating infinite Felidars through Kiki. He moves to combat, swings with everything, and Ryan wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a fun set of games tonight. Congrats to Ryan on both of his wins. Ryan's version of Rocco was a force to be reckoned with at the table. His opponents quickly realized the pace of Ryan's deck and had to react appropriately. Ryan was able to get out of some sticky situations with multiple stacks pieces and eventually pull out the win this evening. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.